So I wanted to show you guys uh, a little issue that I run into sometimes when I use advanced skeleton for a character that's not traditionally sized. Um, mostly the advanced skeleton skeleton will work for this character. Um, he has like basically all of the same limbs as a humanoid and there's the option to add the tail. So for the most part, it's pretty good. The only issue is that I can't really see the controllers because the body is covering them up. Like, um, let's see if I can new. There they are. Okay, so if I just make the body transparent, you can see that all of the controllers are in there. They're just not showing because the geo is covering them up. So we need to make them larger. I haven't um, bound the or skinned the um, geometry to the skeleton just yet, but you can um, you can change the size of these before or after you skin. Um, and I usually like adjust both before and after. So right now, let's just adjust it a little bit before. Um, I have my geo on its own layer, so I've just made that layer transparent and I can't grab it. Uh, and I'm also going to do that to the skeleton as well. I don't want to be able to select the skeleton, so I'm just making it referenceable. Um, better yet, show, I believe, joints. Good. That'll hide that for now so we don't accidentally select anything. Um, and just to be safe, I'm going to add this. I'm not quite sure if it was added. Let's just make sure I'm being extra cautious. Okay, so the skeleton. Select it all at the root. Right click, add selected objects. Good. Now I can't select it. Um, I just wanted to be sure that I couldn't select it. And I'm also just going to turn them off because they were... Annoying. Okay, great. So um, right now we just have the body. Uh, I, I didn't do the face right, but this will be a great way to just run through it. I right click. Uh, once I have like some of the um, control selected, I right click, go to control vertex, and it'll uh, show you all the vertices for these controllers um, down the line of hierarchy. So um, now I'm going to go to scale and I'm just going to scale it up. You can change as long as you are changing the vertices themselves, you can change the size and shape. You could do anything. I mean, you could make this into a square or you can turn it into an oval if you like that better. Um, you can make it as big as you like. The only key is it has to be the vertices. You can't just scale it up because that will affect the uh, joint that it's parented. Too. So that would be really messy and you will screw up your whole rig. So, um, unfortunately, I haven't found a way to use symmetry to do this. So I have to do both sides. Um, if you figure it out, please comment so uh, you can help me out. Um, but yeah, we've, it's as simple as this. Um, as you can see, I'm just scaling right now, and I like to like look around and see how it's going. Um, but say I just want to move it up and into a different spot like this. I don't really need bigger. Maybe I just want it to be higher up. Just hit your translate, pull it up, and there you go. So cool. But um, just make sure you get those control vertices first. Um, I'm going to... Here you can see what he looks like with everything turned on. I didn't scale up all of the controls, just the ones on the arms for now. Um, but yeah, that's basically all there is to it. You would do that to every controller on the character and um, kind of customize it to the way you like it. All right. So I hope that you guys uh, find this useful and I'll see you in the next video.